Or one of our viewers and listeners on Twitter wrote in with this on the subject of low T, low testosterone. Is there an epidemic of it? You know, are we falling? You hear a lot of, um, you know, experts suggest all the plastics, you know, the water contamin contamination we read about are causing like an epidemic of low T that may be manifesting in a number of different ways in our society. Is that true? So it is true. And there is a study looking at testosterone levels decade by decade, showing that our testosterone levels are dropping. Now, what that may correlate with is where if you look at obesity decade by decade, it's now an epidemic in the United States, diabetes an epidemic. So maybe those comorbid conditions are contributing to the low T. What's also interesting, remember, a man needs testosterone for sperm production. So our sperm counts are also going down. Men's sperm counts are going down as well. And it all may be related. Hmm. Does it have anything to do? I mean, I know this is uh, thin ice, but does do you think it has anything to do with the trans craze and like so many more people saying that they're trans? Is there any study underway to see whether these things are related? Low T in a man who might be then confused? No, I don't. I have not seen any studies like that whatsoever. I really think if you look decade by decade, you know, um, the T levels go down. But if you look at a graph and superimpose it, obesity every decade is going up. Diabetes is going up. It's really an epidemic in the United States. And it's no, no surprise that you'll start seeing those lower and lower testosterone levels correlate with those rises in those comorbid conditions. Um, mm -hmm. And it's unfortunate, but I do think that as men tend to lose weight, tend to take care of themselves, we should start seeing a, a return uh, in the other direction. But um, we have work to do. Is it, if a man has low sperm count, I, this is a weird question, but is it a fertility issue given how many sperm they produce you know, it just on a one-time basis, like, does it matter? Yeah. They've got so many. Let's talk about it. Very important. So 15% of all couples in the United States will have some infertility issues. And we know that 50% of the time, it's a female factor. 30% of the time, it's a male factor. And 20% of the time, it's combined, male and female. So indirectly, 50% of the time, the male is involved in infertility. And uh, you're right, the average used to be roughly 80 million per ml, the numbers are coming down, 80 million sperm per ml, but you have to multiply that by how many mls you have. The average man has 1.5 to 5 milliliters of seminal fluid, so that's important. And you have to multiply that by how many are moving. Let's say a man has 100 million sperm, but none are moving. Well, that doesn't help me very much, right? So they have mm -hmm. to be moving. And it's an odds game. So the odds game means the more you have moving, the greater the chances for fertility. And so, yes, um, you know, as you, it sounds like a lot, but again, the more you have, the greater the chances for fertility. Okay. 100 ml, you mean on, on for each ejaculate or how many 100 ml, yeah, so 100 million ejaculate. sperm for what? Yeah. So, so each ejaculate will typically have um, 1.5 to 5 milliliters of fluid. 1.5 to 5, 5 milliliters of fluid, and each milliliter, a normal cutoff, should be roughly about 60 to 80 million per milliliter. So that's a lot of oh sperm. God. Now, <laughs> yeah, it's a lot, but you only need, the new guidelines came out, the cutoff for when you may fall in trouble is 15. So as a man falls below 15 million per milliliter, that's when we start seeing more difficulty in natural conception. And so there are new technologies available now to help men. Um, remember, male infertility is not hard. Either he's blocked or he's not making it. There's only two options. He's either blocked mm -hmm. or not making it. And we just have to figure out what side he's on, and then we can treat that side to make it better. And while we're on the subject of making babies, uh, I heard another urologist giving a talk at Google saying that withdrawal actually works pretty well. I was like, that's exactly the opposite of what they told us when we were young Catholics, and especially girls yeah. growing up. It was like, yeah. if that thing comes anywhere near you, you're <laughs> pregnant. I would be very careful on that technique for your fertility pres uh, uh, to try to avoid uh, pregnancy. Uh, the, the most common form of uh, birth control in the world is vasectomy. It uh, takes uh, less than 10 minutes. Uh, it's extremely effective. Um, they talk about the failure rate as one in 2000. And so, I mean, I've never seen it, but that that's the failure rate. Um, but it is a very, very good form of birth control. And it but that, but the men don't get that because they're afraid. They, they don't want the procedure, right? They're worried it's going to 
hurt or lead yeah. to ED, well, right? We, yeah, so what they think about is men worry that they may lose their ejaculatory volume. Remember that 90% of the seminal fluid comes from the prostate or the, um, the uh, or the seminal vesicles, which means that if you do a vasectomy, a man loses only 10% of his seminal volume. In fact, if I remove a man's testicles, he will still have 90% of his seminal fluid. So that's this misconception that I'm gonna lose a lot of fluid um, and uh, it's gonna feel different, but the reality is that's not true. So you basically don't notice. That dark spot on your face, is it bothering you? And the liver spots on your hands and those on your neck and your chest? Now you can watch them disappear safely and quickly in three quick minutes. Introducing the GenuCell Dark Spot Corrector 3-Step 3-Minute Dark Spot Luxury System. By using their Crystal's world-famous microdermabrasion before the Dark Spot Corrector and then finishing with a touch of the collagen-building GenuCell XV, you will see the dark spots disappear before your very eyes, instantly, smoothly, and luxuriously. What you're watching on the screen are real results in just a couple of minutes. Don't take my word for it. If you're not blown away with the results, you'll get 100% of your money back. No questions asked. Free shipping, free returns. Go to genucell.com slash MK60. Order the new dark spot correction system. It's the dark spot treatment system today. And say goodbye to those pesky spots tomorrow. All three products are included in Genucell's most popular package for August. So you get your Genucell bags and puffiness serum also included. All for 70% off retail. Experience the luxury and effectiveness of Genucel. 70% off while supplies last. Genucel.com slash MK60. G-E-N-U-C-E-L dot com slash MK60. Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you like what you just saw, hit the subscribe button for more clips and full episodes.